The search is on tonight for a woman wanted for defrauding hundreds of thousands of dollars from Medicaid. She had an elaborate plan here in D.C. that included her boyfriend, who's already pleaded guilty in the case. Greta Cruz joins us with a story you'll see only on 7. Greta? That's right, Maureen. Authorities say Patricia Chizanga and her boyfriend ran the racket for years and pocketed more than half a million dollars before she fled the country. Do you know this woman or where she is? Patricia Chizanga is 33 and on the Inspector General's most wanted fugitive list. So they're billing for services not rendered, cheating the patient out of supplies, cheating the taxpayers out of the money. Authorities say Chizanga and her boyfriend, Ben Odunza, opened and ran Emerald Medical Services on Georgia Avenue. And between 2008 and last year, defrauded the D.C. Medicaid program and hundreds of needy clients by more than half a million dollars. The indictment says Chizanga routinely altered and falsified forms, providing less expensive motorized wheelchairs, but billing Medicaid for top-of-the-line models. They say she also delivered only partial orders for incontinence products and then billed Medicaid for the whole tab. Known for its stellar 24-hour customer service and for commitment to our clients. Emerald has Medical since closed up shop. At the tattoo parlor next door, Ronald Johnston couldn't believe it. What do you think when you hear that she's now wanted for half a million dollars in Medicaid fraud? Ooh, wow. Odunza was arrested at the airport trying to leave the country. But Chizanga got out, believed now to be back in her native Zambia. And the IG's office, FBI, and D.C. Medicaid Fraud Control Unit are all working to get her back. They don't care about people, they just care about money. So they provide shoddy services and people can get hurt. Now, Chizanga, who they say came to the U.S. on a student visa, attended UDC, and lived in Laurel, is again believed to be back in Zambia with a couple's young daughter. Ben Odunza is scheduled to be sentenced here in January. Back to you. Thank you, Greta. This was a tough morning for students at a local elementary school in Loudoun County.